In the military, there's a concept called the commander's intent. And it is the leadership responsibility to communicate down the chain of command what the command intent is so that when things change, and they always change, um, is that when the things do change, that people will know what to do. In this week's parasha, Parsha's Devarim, this is the fifth book of the five books of Torah. And in the first four books, there's a common refrain. And God said to Moses, saying, tell the B'nai soul, tell the Jewish people, etc. This fifth book, it changes. It's now Moses speaking in the first person. So, what gives? There's a major change that's happening, is that during the first four books of the Torah, these are the stories of, of, uh, that are being told, that, you know, the stories of the Jewish people in the traveling in the desert, 40 years in the desert. Now, during that 40 years, God provides water, he provides the food, you know, the path is, it's all a miraculous lifestyle. For 40 years, it's a miraculous lifestyle. So the people in the desert have lived a very miraculous lifestyle. They've gotten used to this, you know, very clear hand of God in everything that they say and do. The generation that's going into Israel, they're going to be farmers, they're going to be shepherds, they're going to be working the land. It's going to be a very different lifestyle. And therefore, it's time to restate everything, but this time through the leadership. Moses is going to say, in his own words, mind you, Moses never says anything that's not God's words, so it's still God's divine words, but Moses is is rephrasing everything and in a new way to this generation, in a way that this generation can hear it. So when we communicate to people, are we communicating in a way that they can hear the overall necessity, the big picture, as well as the spe specifics for this new lifestyle? And that's the idea of you know, this new way that Moses is communicating in the fifth book of Torah. Have a great week.